Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about somebody that goes by the name of Lovely Peaches. This did take place a while ago, years ago actually, but we're going to bring this case back up because it's something I never talked about before. I just want to say real quick before we go ahead and move on, I want to say I'm sorry for only uploading one video in November. I didn't really intend on that happening at all, it just kind of did. I let everything slip out of my hands, but I'm back and I'm ready to pump out a lot of videos in hopes of hitting 100,000 subs by the end of December. Now, I'm going to upload a lot in December with the hopes of hitting 100,000 subs. I'm not going to sit here and constantly shove down, you know, everybody subscribe to my channel for the entire month of December just because I want to hit it. I've never really asked for subscribers and really asked for people to subscribe. I don't really like doing that at all because every time I saw somebody else do it when I'd be watching a new channel, it'd make me want to do the opposite. So if you like what you see, feel free to stick around. But without further ado, we're going to jump right into today's topic. Today we're talking about Lovely Peaches. They were very prominent and pretty popular on a lot of different socials. They were real popular on Snapchat from 2016 to 2017. They are very popular on Instagram from 2018 to like 2021, 2022. She gained a lot of popularity on TikTok for a multitude of different reasons, whether it just be people going absolutely berserk at the things that she would do, or her very own song that blew up on TikTok out of nowhere called Itchin' and Burnin'. Now, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to figure out what she was talking about when she meets Itchin' and Burnin', but I can give you a hint. It's uh, down there. Peaches loved to glorify every single STD that they could get possible. They said their goal was to get as many as possible, which is absolutely disgusting. She's very, very popular for many different things, one of which saying on live and on multiple videos confessing that she would, you know, beat and solicit her four-month-old daughter. She was also very well known to indulge in her own period blood or own feces. She said the feces that she loved the most was the green one. We have a lot to cover today and I'm going to do it in as quick a time as possible for your own sakes. So for without further ado, let's just get this right on the road. But I will be showing you a few videos just to like, you know, kind of start you off slowly into the lore. I'm back! Lovely Peaches is going down. What did you say? Who is so now? How dare you hit me in the head? Ah! Now, I hope that video alone was enough to show you how kind of wacky and crazy this person will be throughout today's video. I also don't understand how she said the peach was grabbing her hair when her and the peach have the same exact haircut. Now, the very first topic that we are going to be talking about regarding Lovely Peaches today is how she would treat her animals in the climax with her dog. I do just want to give a warning for everybody watching this. This next part is going to have some very, you know, sensitive stuff, some nasty stuff being said. So I just want to give you guys a trigger warning here. We're going to be talking about when Peaches was just straight up abusing her dog. Now, I do want to tell everybody here right now that her dog was taken away from her by the authorities. So that is a very good ending to what I'm going to be showing you. But I know that this will be a difficult watch for a lot of you, especially if you're anything like me and you love animals and grew up with animals. It's going to be a hard watch nonetheless. Go ahead. Stupid ass. Stupid again. So in that clip we just saw, we see her telling her dog to run, and as soon as it does run as being told, she immediately snaps a leech back and just starts kind of like choking the dog for a second until it falls back into the ground. Now, there are other clips I would have showed you rather than just this one, but there is one more. I just can't show them on YouTube due to how strict their guidelines are, rightfully so. But in the clip that I'm referring to, she walks into her bathroom... She picks the dog up by the neck and just starts to do some, you know, goofy, girly poses while the dog is squirming, trying to get its legs on anywhere to stand so that it could just breathe. It's something that genuinely upsets me deeply, and I don't know whether to be sad or completely mad about it, but here's another clip that I need to show you of when she was purposely spraying perfume into her dog's eyes. Max, are you ready to be barbatized? Queen Nicki Minaj's perfume.
Now, these terrible things she was doing to her dog were getting her called out online to the point where even multiple people were retweeting where someone just docks the shit out of her. And at this point, I mean, you know, you got to expect something like that to happen, especially when you're just posting you abusing your dog in multiple different ways on the internet. Now, after she got doxxed, she made a video talking about how she was going to kill this dog, throw it out of the window, and do a lot of bad things like breaking its legs, and anytime it would make more noise, she would go on to break another leg. She made multiple videos, which angered a lot of people, rightfully so. She was doxxed once again somehow, and then the police got involved and actually took away her dog. Here is the body cam footage of that happening. What would people say? Rory, it's not what you're killing, you're not killing me! Okay. Who's Mine? Why would you make that up? For followers. Rory? For followers? Oh, Patty. As you can see, he's fine. Food right there. What? So you making threats to harm your dog for followers? Okay. Yeah, but I didn't do it right now. How long have you had this dog? Um, no, thank you weeks. so much. Do you want this dog? Okay. I mean, I might give it to my dad, but. If you were following somebody, they made an allegation. You were on something for someone. Yeah, but yeah, but I make jokes all the time, but I know they make jokes. That's, that's not that's not the point. Are you talking about harming a puppy? I don't even have a window to throw him out of. Well, you do have a window. You have a door in the house. You have a door in the house. What? That's not that's not something that should be joking about. At all. He's all scared. Yeah, he's scared to death. Where'd you get it? I adopted him from a. I didn't call him actually. I adopted him from a white man. He posted an Craigslist. Okay. Pay for it? Huh? Did you pay for it? What? Yeah, I paid him 200 No, I'm just, I'm just asking. What, so, if, if, you, if you, you, know, you have money in the dog, why would you, why would you make friends to harm the dog? Can I never give me attention on the internet? I say jokes all the time. That's not the attention you want. See, police there? That ain't the attention you want. Not for no followers. Have you have you been diagnosed with anything? Hey, I need something, and there you are. This be a great moment. Just depression. Depression, bipolar, anything like that? Just depression. Just depression. And then anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. I mean, is there a reason you do what you do? So someone will sign you and you can live good? Okay. Alright, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I, I mean, I, I don't... I extension. I want to do life with me, my dad and my daughter. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that, but with some of the antics you pulled on, on Instagram, it's just, it's, it's not normal. You know, but that's why I have so many followers. You only had 459 followers. No, I don't. It's a fan page. It's a fan page? You have 1.1 million followers. How much money do you get from Instagram? Um, I have sponsorships. I can make like a thousand a week. A thousand a week? Alright. That's, that's your account. Yeah. Well, we'll knock on your door. We'll Animal control. Door. We'll be here to talk to you. Thankfully, the dog was taken away by the authorities, but if you were truly paying attention 100% watching that video, and only that video, that was your main focus, you would have caught a few words in there just like I did, especially I did. So in that little thing, she talks about getting followers for views and money so that she could live a nice life with her and her daughter. I find that to be such a crazy thing to mention, especially from someone like her, who said that when her daughter was only four months old, she let her boyfriend do anything that she wanted to her daughter, just for a little bit of money. A lot of just nasty things she would say that we don't know if all of them are 100% true. She thinks that some of these things are very funny jokes, a lot of these things that she says. We're going to dive right into this topic, but it is a wild one to dive into. Now I am going to give you a warning before I show you these next few clips, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all, I'm just going to completely tell you flat out right now that these clips are fucked up. And that's the only real way to describe them. They're very, very, very bad, and I'm sure that this is going to make a lot of you very angry or emotional, but here are the clips. I'm going to kill my own baby. Um, I've already made people have sex with her, and I'm going to kill her tonight! Cora is not a virgin. Um, I made sure 
that she lost stand a few months ago. You know what I'm saying? I cannot wait because I am going to pull her in a bathtub full of Clorox. I'm going to leave her in there. Guys, I just made $150 because I sold core to sex traffickers. <laughs> I just sold my nine month old baby to a grown ass man and sex trafficking for $150. Fuck that bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Stupid ass bitch. Bitch. Oh, now you ain't got to say shit, bitch. You say something again, I'll pop you in your fucking face, ho. Stupid ass. With all of the things that she's been saying, she's been gaining a lot more popularity and a lot more, you know views from multiple different platforms like Twitter and YouTube. And with a lot more people seeing this, started the hashtag Save Cora. Cora is the name of Peach's daughter, if you did not know. But this hashtag started on mainly Twitter to the point where they were signing petitions and they had over 75,000 signatures at the time. But if you truly sat there and thought that that would, you know, maybe change some things about what would happen, it did not. It only fueled Peaches to want and do that same exact thing even more. Going to the point where she starts to post about how bad she wants to kill and do other things to her child. Even putting this in one of her Instagram captions. Now, I just want to say, everybody, Peach is here text and types like a child who just learned how to cuss. So I will be saying some bad words here, and I do not condone saying all these terrible bad words. I stand against it, actually. But here we go. Stupid ass bitch. I wouldn't even come to your funeral. Don't ever think I love you. You was a mistake, and it's a disgrace. It going to grow up to be a lousy piece of sh You won't be nothing when you grow up, crackhead ass. Honestly, don't have no kind of feelings or emotions for you. The day you was born, I wanted to throw your ass away. I was hoping I could have left you at the hospital. Should have aborted your little ass hoe. These insane and deplorable ramblings in her captions and in her stories were not the end of it at all. She even goes as far as to record herself talking to someone, asking how much would it cost for them to buy her baby. And then that one question, the very first question the trafficker asked Peaches is, is she a virgin? To which Peaches responded, she lost it at only four months old. Okay, so what would be, since I got you on a better connection now, what would be the requirements for you to buy my daughter? Well, she, she has to be a virgin. Is she a virgin? Um, no, she's not a virgin. Well, how many times has she done this before? Um, she first lost her virginity at four months. I would say she had sex at least maybe about five times in her life. According to everything that I can find on the internet, at least all that's left after the Great Purge, because it's hard to find a lot of stuff about Peaches, at least all of the important stuff, everything that I can gather is that Peach's daughter actually does live with Peach's grandfather, but Peach is allowed to see her with supervised visits is from what I've been able to gather here. But tell me this, would you still be shocked, surprised, kerfuffled? Would you still be bewildered if I told you there was a little bit more I'd like to talk about? A little bit more crazy and wacky antics that she pulled? Some genuinely disgusting stuff? So there's a few things I would like to talk about real quick, and I will be showing you a few of them. Some of them I will not, purely for the sake of your own well-being mentally. But the first thing I want to show you and talk about is when Peaches went on an entire rant about which STD she prefers, which one is her favorite, and how one of her goals is to collect them all like fucking Pokemon. Most. P.S. I love you. I love you more, Kaya. You're so pretty. Um, my favorite STD would have to be between herpes, and I don't even have herpes yet, but I know it's a goal of mine as well. Um, my favorite, my goal would definitely, have to, my uh, favorite would definitely have to be between herpes and chlamydia.
It would definitely have to be between it. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Peaches, are you proud I lost my virginity? I'm very proud of you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was with the right guy. And you knew it if it was, fuck it. It's always a good thing to get dick. Congratulations, sis. <laughs> Do you smell like fish? Um, I, don't, I kind of think of myself as smelling worse than that, but I'm trying, like, I smell so bad. It's like, it's like a word that I can't even pronounce. Like, it's something I just can't explain. Like, you would have to actually be around me and smell me. And honestly, like, I feel like people should always try to embrace their natural body odors. And I feel like people who shower and take baths and spray perfume on themselves are just people who are just desperate. You know, people who are, who don't accept themselves the way they are. Mm -mm -mm. For the sake of every single person on this planet, everybody listening, I want you to, you know, open your ears up as much as humanly possible. Listen to what I'm going to tell you right now. And please, no matter what, please shower regularly. Make sure you're clean. Do not take advice from this person at all. This is the worst advice I've ever heard in my entire life. Now, what I'm going to say is purely to the people who are going to look even more into peaches after watching today's video, I just want you to know, be very, very careful when looking into this person. I saw a few videos and I didn't really know what I was going to be clicking into or what I was going to be finding out when looking into these videos. And long story short, there's videos of um, peaches here eating her own bodily fluids and other nasty sorts so please just be very careful if you're going to look into this on your own it's absolutely absolutely disgusting it is one of the most nasty things i think i've seen in a very long time Without further ado, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy this or enjoy any other types of content that I've made so far, feel free to subscribe and stick around for a while. If not, you know, just thanks for watching anyway. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Depending on what time of day it is, I hope you guys have a great day or night. And I leave you all with this final video. Goodbye. Hey, why do you eat shit? Because it tastes very good. Um, my favorite shit would be green shit. It tastes really good. Um, my advice to all the ladies out there, if you really want a good meal, when you're on your period, you get like a cup. And when you use the bathroom and you shit and pee at the same time, get a cup, take that cup, go on the, go on the toilet like this, scoop it up, and drink it. It's going to be the best thing you ever taste.